Welcome back everybody, it's Angela here, so lovely to have you join me again. Um, I'm here just to bring you a quick little project today. I'm sorry about that, um, I haven't been feeling great this week after that vaccine, but I thought I do want to do some kind of crafting and today is the first day that I've sort of got um, had an attempt at, at making some things. So I do have a great idea for um, my video later on in the week, but I thought I'd just share some of the um, something that I was playing around with um, just this afternoon. So let me um, share that with you. Now, um, what I've had from the last project that you saw me do um, with an exciting envelope, I had a lot of these long strips of scraps. You know, these strips that you always cut off, these long, thin ones. And um, I thought I wanted to do something. Now, this is what's left after I've been playing around. And I just kept um, the rest of these just to show you um, what my little addictive habit was this evening. So, <laughs> um, And how we can turn this into something pretty. That, along with a load of my... Um, packaging that I like to recycle because you know um, I love the colors that you get on the underside of the packaging that we have here. I know that um, in other parts of the world you don't necessarily have a lot of packaging the cardboard sort but I do think you guys have milk cartons over there um, and you could easily wash those out wipe them down with some antiseptic dry them and use the cardboard there i'm sure for exactly what i'm doing today or of course any cardboard that you have from packaging so you know any of the um bits like the back of tim holtz type of packaging or any of the other kinds of packaging that you get crafting items from it would all work the same so it is a bit of use up the scraps and recycle um products that you have um and i'm going to show you what I did um, to put together a couple of really pretty things that are going to go into my next project. All right, so uh, I've got that there. What I did was I was using a lot of these. Um, so this is from the good book, the Calico Collage. Um, these are also from the Calico Collage project um, kit that I was working with. I've also got a, a few tea stained pages that I had as well. Um, and then I cut out the butterflies, the rest of the butterflies that I had left over from that as well. So I thought, no, that would be great. Um, had some of these uh, as well that would come from the sheet from the Calico Good Book kit, the journal kit. Um, and these also, just all the bits and pieces really that I could muster from there. Along with some of the fussy cuts um, that I get and people do ask me where I get these from I, I, I tell you I have such a, a range um, of wildflower or flower books garden flower books um, they're all old they're all vintage um, I just pull out a few pages I've pulled out loads of pages I just cut them out and I throw them in here so we're going to use some of these today as well all right so we're using up bits and pieces today so what I was doing is I was taking um, this kind of a thing. So let's let's take something like something more well, larger. Let's start with larger. Um, um, this is the side I want to keep and really nice cardboard. This is just the other side. Uh, and then what I was doing here was I was taking um, these strips, which I seem to have a lot of, and just pulling out some of these and sticking these down so i'm going to take my uh, book here this is a wildflower of britain book i get smaller um pictures from here you know so you can see i've cut out um some beautiful fussy cut flowers here but smaller ones i like this one i use it as my glue book because it's got a coating on it so when i'm finished gluing i can just wipe it off with my wet wipes so this is a good one for gluing so then what i've done is i'm just taking my stick glue um, and i am first of all just going to measure up the length of this and i'm using all these scraps to make a bit of a collage here and, and turn it into something useful. So um, just grab a few that you have and get an estimation of the length that you need. 
and I just kept throwing these back and reusing them as I went so you got like like that and I just sort of overlap them um, just keep pulling them out here's another one this one's got a bit of a flower and I am just I can always trim once I've stuck them down which is seems to be what I was doing is a thinner one um, We'll put that one there, maybe overlap that one there. Here's a bit of a scrap bit as well. Let's move that down there, maybe put that towards the top. And that's how I was going until I had something that looked all right. So let's see what else. Um, no. Hmm. So I hope you guys have been having an okay week. I am. Um, we had midterm here, but uh, we did have a couple of catch-up lessons, as we are having to do that now with people. You know, with learners learn missing so much of the schooling, we feel like we need to do that. Right. I'm going to stick that one on the top. Uh, I'm going to start with this one over here. Right. Let's take this off. Moving that aside, we've got to start somewhere, so we'll be starting with this one. So I'm just going to run my glue stick over that and stick this down. I want to just cover this card. Once I've done that, I can decide if I want to have it into two tags or journal card or whatever it is that I want to have. So um, we'll just get it all down first yeah so yeah don't throw away your scraps guys you know there's always something that you can challenge yourself to do with them and i do like to do that myself um and then you know you never know what you, you can make now this is not some unique idea um you know lots of people try this kind of thing um but i just thought uh, especially these long thin bits you know we just need to get rid of them um, so that's what I thought I'd do today and really it became quite addictive <laughs> and I'll show you what I mean in a minute um, yeah so it's just a case of hmm, I think that I'm quite happy with that and I might end up cutting that end bit off we will see okay now, I have been having a, a, a few thinks about some other projects that I wanted to get on with. And um, I wanted to know from all of you what you thought about doing a reference book for all the exciting envelope um, tutorials that I've done. I'm thinking of redoing them. Um, um, with different styled papers um, and putting them into a big uh, reference journal that we can keep. I like to have references of the products that are products, the items that I make, the ephemera. So it's just a nice place to keep them when you're putting together uh, your um journals you know where you think oh what shall I use what shall I use and I just thought it would make a, a great reference book so let me know if you think you'd like if that's something you'd like to follow along with and we can do it together from one to well wherever I get to <laughs> don't really want to th think that I'm going to stop doing it so you know I keep going on <laughs> But maybe you're all sick of that so that's why i'm asking so let me know what you think okay we can do it together and have a nice reference to put into our journals all right so i've got that card covered and i'm only going to do the one um like this just to show you stick all those strips down all right um this then would make a fantastic um either a journal card because it's nice and big um, or 
um, what I would do now is let's just move the book out of the way. What I would do now is is just take my little Stanley knife and just trim any of the edges that are not straight. So that's what I would do there. Just any of the bits of paper that are sticking over. And that'll ensure that everything is going to be nice and neat. Of course, you don't have to do that. That's just me. I like things sort of straight and whatever there we go just take those rough bits off and when you turn that over now you've got a really nice finish there right so i don't need that anymore right so what i did i did this with quite a load and i'll show you in a minute and then what i did is i just like to stitch around the edge that's not a requirement um but you could even do a faux stitch and draw it on you know with a brown marker pen so that would work as well if you wanted a, a, that sort of look so that's what i did with a load of these and believe me this was full so that's what i was doing with them and i'll just put that in in there for the moment because i haven't sewn those and then as you can see i did that with all sizes all the sizes that i had all right so i made quite a few of those and some others that i've already decorated as well it was quite therapeutic and quite um uh addictive <laughs> so as you can see they make a nice base for things that you want to decorate and this is all recycled packaging so you don't throw that away either okay so there we've got quite a few um so I'm going to just put those aside and then uh, I'll just put the little packaging bits away as well. Um, so what we're going to do now is I have pulled in the butterflies. I've got my little labels here. Um, I've cut out a couple of these and just grabbing my fussy cut flowers here as well. Like that. And then I will go and grab um my first little one over here all right so let's um just have a look and see what we're going to do so i've got this little fussy cut flower here and i'm going to just stick that over the top there i think okay so i want to just look um a butterfly um, um i've got lots of these labels which are really lovely okay um let's put those to the side here and as i said to you i've cut out some of these uh, which are from a full sheet that looks like this and i think i can show you what that sheet looks like um have i got it here yes all right so it came from this sheet here so if you have a look from um the good book and i cut out these which are really great to work with these are lovely and I, I loved using those in my last project in fact i used all of this kind of stuff all right so a great page to do this with um so I, i've found one here now i'm going to use this blue one because there's a lot of blue in there uh, i'm going to put that on there somewhere um and just looking for a label i quite like this one my favorite book uh, i'm going to put that at the bottom i think and then of course just wanting a little butterfly i thought a white one we could just put that on the top there like that and look we if we go and stick that down quickly um i think that looks really pretty um and we've made that from stuff strips of paper we would have thrown away card from packaging we would have thrown away and there you go you've got something really pretty from pretty much stuff you'd throw away so you know always be very mindful when i look at the packaging these days i do look at everything in a totally different way i get more exciting about the packaging things come with even my children are trained you know everything they come to me oh mom can you use this which is exactly what i like because then i look at it and decide oh it challenges me what can i use that for 
all right so i got excited today ladies i must tell you because a new style of amazon packaging arrived here and i have now just tried to challenge myself it hasn't been in my house an hour um what can i make with that because i would never seen that style before so we'll have to see what i come up with and then i'll share that with you and i hope they send me another one because i really like it <laughs> and i've only got one so there we go we'll have to have a, a wait and see there so yeah I'm just i love these labels i do love this kit it's just amazing and um, yeah i've got a few ideas of things i've got two other projects i'm going to do with this kit so if you have this you can follow along with pleasure and we can do that together right so there we have a tag and of course you can always um for what i'm going to use i'm going to try and think of flat um can't think of the word now bows and sort of tag attachments there um i might put on just a little bit of this so just a bit of vintage photo cut that off like that and there we have ourselves a lovely tag from pretty much nothing all right so there's that one and let's have a go with another one quickly so i've got another one i've just grabbed over here um, and we'll give that a little bit of a edging as well so this is more on the purple side now and i do love these purples and teals isn't it and the pinks oh my gosh just delightful just love it and, and of course if you use recycled packaging the card is really good as well it's nice and firm right so this one i've got another one of these with the books um, and it looks like a combo of hydrangeas and things all sorts really not really a necessarily a hydrangea um what can we use in here with this work just looking what's on the top yeah it's pretty good color match i quite like that i might use that or do i want this one i think that's a bit pinker for that one um And that's a bit big i quite like that i've got this that's a bit more greener maybe i want to put that in because there's a lot of purple here that looks all right um yeah maybe one of these just a playing around game you know until you've got what you want but i do quite fancy the greenery so i'm trying to get the greenery in here maybe i don't want the other one maybe that's just not needed i think that's quite good that green's quite nice and bold and a nice contrast so we'll have that there i'll stick that one there like that um put those to the side i quite like those too um i want a bit of a label so get lost in this book do we want that yeah maybe maybe not something a bit narrower maybe or not so um, writing my story that's not so bold i quite like that so we'll have that one and we've got that there and then again i'm just going to put a little butterfly on this one and maybe a bluer one this time but i think this one's a bit big yeah we'll go a bit smaller a bit smaller maybe quite small No, well, I might actually just go over that one. That one looks right. It's nice and subtle. Okay, so there we go. We've got another one ready. So let's just take that off. 
and start underneath here. All right, so you can get quite addicted to this. Great way to use up all sorts of scraps here. Um, and as this is the, the most recent project, I do have a huge container there full of these strips. Um, so from all the different kits. So, you know, go and hang. I don't throw those kind of things away because I'm a hoarder, as my mother says. But... Um, you know, you just never know what you could come up with. So go and challenge yourself and come up with these things. Use these bits that we would normally throw in the bin. You know, don't be afraid to do that. And I'm sure you've got loads of labels too. So go and grab those as well. Um, I've got labels from all different sorts, sources. And these are going great with this today, so this is the one I'm using. But, you know, I've got others right on my desk here as well. And we like to use labels, don't we, ladies? So whatever, you could use stamps if you've got stamps as well. That would work really well. There we go. This one, I almost said antler again, but it is an antennae. Antler sounds better, but I know it's not. Right, so there we go. We've got two of those done. And we're going to do one more, I think. we going to make a smaller one, I think. Um, no, let's do that tag. Let's do this tag. That's great. Um, and what am I going to put on here? Hmm. Well, we can put on, again, one of these or one of those. I'm not quite sure. And then... We can have a look here and um, think about what we can put. Now, the teapot looks a bit big, um, so we might try the typewriter. Let's try the typewriter. So I don't really cut around those lines. I do my own thing. So you can do whatever you want, you know. I love all this sort of... Um, what is it? It's like a Mandalay filigree type of design in here. Really pretty. So I'm just going to cut this all out here quickly. Well, you must let me know what you guys are um, working on or what would you like to see me work on? Um, I think that's not the right one for there. So let's just find a different base. Let's find something with a bit more blue in it, if there is something like that. There isn't, but we'll use that one, I think. quite like that one. Okay. Let's see. Right, so... Uh, Maybe not that one, but I'm very mindful of that one's maybe a bit too bright for the purpose. But this is showing an amazing amount of greenery, which I love. I love the typewriter. And we are going to find a little label to go on here. Book club sounds good to me. Or something a little bit... Um, and this is quite bold. That's why I keep historical fiction one of my favourites. So we'll stick that on. And we can put a nice bluer butterfly on here, I think. A slightly bigger one that time. There we go. Okay. So again, it's just sticking this down. And you know, in no time, you could have... 50 of these <laughs> all different bits you don't have to use the same um you know from the same kit you use all those scraps that you keep not you know collecting there they're collecting now no they are go and get them out and um put them to some good use get a pile of mass make some tags like this and have them ready to go into your journals that you can just look at them and pull out what goes with your journal when you're making your journal 
it's always lovely even if you are going to journal in your journal i know that it's great to have things ready that you can pick and choose what you want to use so a great idea for that as well and get rid of those scraps you know they'll look far better as ready made tags ready to go and you can just put on the toppings um the ribbons and things when you decide where you want to use them exactly okay so we've got that already and but even if you don't get to the decorating stage like this you know let me just stick this down quickly if you don't get you don't have to decorate them all just remember if you just use up those scraps and have them sewn and ready as bases that makes your job a lot easier when you want to go ahead and put some more of those tags together all right so have a whole load of these ready as well that will also be great so there we have it all right so i've made a few um not a long video as i said uh, just really short but these are going to go into another project um, that i am working on for next week so i will share that with you um, so let me just finish this off here and then at least you can see what's been on my desk this this evening really okay so i hope to bring you i will i will be bringing you a much bigger project on wednesday for you to follow but i thought i'd give you something just to work on you could even um make these bases while you're watching the telly yeah so thank you everybody um for bearing with me i know it's really quick and easy but be prepared you can have a lot <laughs> a lot to digest on um next week on tuesday night or wednesday depending where in the world you are all right so let me know what you think um and i'll see you very soon thanks as always for your wonderful comments um and i appreciate them um, and i look forward to seeing you guys in my very next video so stay safe as well bye bye